in creativity you cannot say stupid things. My main business is free-to-air television. And I still believe that a lot of hours a week people just want to be entertained. and want to sit on the couch with a cup of coffee and enjoy a nice show without pushing buttons or being interactive or having second screens. We sort of created a whole new genre. Only three months before we started, someone said, hey, why don't we call it Big Brother? Because in Orwell's 1984, he's describing a world where cameras are watching people and they call it Big Brother. Even in entertainment, uh, it is a reflection of what's really happening in the world. The judgment of that has to do with a generation gap. It's the same discussion as in the 50s when older people disapproved Elvis Presley because it was too sexy and he was shaking his legs and whatever, and young people loved it. I was caught by, by the disease that, that television has because once you start to love it and you love making it, uh, uh, it gets you. If you live in a country with, in those days, 12 million people, and if you get in your car and you, you drive for one hour, you're, you hear a different language, uh, you learn to, to think more internationally. It is not a mathematical uh, project. You cannot say, if you do this and you do this, the outcome is this. My people here, I try to teach, say everything loud out you think. The possibilities are endless. And I'm afraid for all the criticasters of this genre, I have bad news for you because this genre is here forever.